All right. Heart failure affects 26 million adults worldwide, and unfortunately, it can be very hard to detect on time. Now, a new Israeli startup has created a non-invasive monitor device that can diagnose heart failure in real time and save millions of lives. Joining us today in the studio is Amir Maumo, CEO of CoreAlert, to tell us more about this new technology. Thank you so much for joining us. This sounds incredible. Well, we believe it's a revolution in cardiology. Uh, we will be able to give the clinicians, the cardiologists, and the patients, for the first time, the ability to non-invasively measure uh, left ventricular end diastolic pressure, which is an indicator of heart failure and will allow us to predict deterioration of the condition of the patients and correctly diagnose them in real time. That's absolutely incredible. I mean, the fact that this is non-invasive is amazing. How does this work? How does CoreAlert work? Our device is a rather simple device to use. Uh, it is based on uh, locating a few sensors on the arm and the chest, along with a pressure cuff, together with our proprietary and uh, algorithm we are able to estimate accurately this index, which is highly uh, relevant and indicative of the condition of the heart. Unbelievable. All right, so my first question is, can people already access this device? Is it already available, or is it still? It's because, still being okay. developed. Uh, we are now in the process We're eager of, to get our hands on it already. It's just, it, this is a very, very unique uh, product that you've Hopefully, uh, you won't have to wait long until it will be available. At the moment, we are still developing uh, our alpha model, which we hope to finalize in a few months, and then start regulation studies, and hopefully within a short period, it will be available uh, to the market. Now, how did you come up with this idea? How did you start creating something like this? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, my father, who's also a co-founder of the company, is a professor of cardiology, and he was um, bothered by this issue, na naturally and obviously, uh, as a cardiologist. And together, after a lot of discussions at the food at a dinner table, uh, we decided to try a certain mathematical approach to solving it, and it worked. And from then on, we're trying to develop this device, and here we are today. I think I want to grab a seat at the next dinner <laughs> that the two of you have. <laughs> You're going to be coming up with ideas like this because this is really exciting. Now, what is next for the company from here? Uh, we're starting a clinical study to validate our device uh, in, the, in this month. And afterwards, we will start regulation study uh, in the next quarter. And after we receive our regulat regulatory uh, approval from the FDA and CE, uh, we will start and uh, market our device. Beautiful. Well, congratulations. I hope the best for your company, and thank you so much for coming in. Gladly. Thank you.